Oops. Look at me over there trying to get a thumbnail. <laughs> okay, so to start the bun, we wet my hair first. And then now my friend who is doing my bun, my lovely friend who is always there to help me, she is basically distributing the gel all over my hair because I am still natural and my hair is rich as you guys can see and it's still growing so it's a lot to deal with but she always gets it right so there she is she is just so patient with the process you guys that's why my bun always comes out so well and I just like she's just like my favorite person <laughs> okay so there she is distributing the gel as i say just putting it all over my hair making sure that every part gets enough gel so that by the time she has to slick it all down it is ready and we had to change angles because it only made sense in true kia fashion you know i love things to be done the right way and because my hair is small at the back as you guys can see she is putting gel there as well and you know using a brush to make sure that it lays properly okay she combs it first and then she uses a brush to make sure that she and this brush you guys it's very thick um it's to make sure that the gel penetrates better into all the other hair strands at the back where we can really reach and there she is at the front and i was still you know busy watching because you know i juggle it all so i was watching something school related on my laptop and listening and getting my hair done and also just trying to you know rush because i did have to go to a tutorial later on and yeah so this is it You guys need to watch and concentrate and make sure that you really really um look at the process very attentively especially if you're still natural because if you're relaxed oh you probably don't even need gel you don't even need to be as you know thorough um during the process so regarding this angle i do want to apologize for being out of frame or not really being out of frame but not being in full frame but as you can see she is using a wool to tie my hair wool ties better i don't know if it's particularly good for tying hair because you know natural hair enthusiasts are very big on like what you do to your hair how you tie it how much you tie it what you even tie it with so i'm just here to say you know wool always secures my ponies my buns Whatever it is, just always make sure that it gives me that slick look that I want. And my friend is over there going with gel again to make sure that everything is sitting right. And as you can see, it's already giving slick and we're not even done. We're not even close to being done, but it's like giving, okay? And the brush goes in again and I'm still out of frame. Well, not in full frame and I apologize. I just think, you know, there was just so much going on and I did change the angle and, you know, the way we wanted to film the video is not how it ended up, but, you know, it's okay because I did, you know, end up filming it, which is the most important thing and it's still good quality and it's still, you know, good enough to be put out there. So, yeah. Okay, so this part is very important. My extensions, my hair extensions, this is braiding hair. Darling, to be precise, number two. Number two, because as you can see, my hair is a B1 color slash number two. It's not all the way black. I don't know if that's my natural color. And funny enough, that's also my mom's natural color. Or it used to be her natural color when she was still natural. Um, I don't know about my sister because she always relaxes her hair. But I've observed that hair color in my family quite a lot. And, you know, my friend always makes sure that she just like you know um detangles the braiding hair because you know braiding hair tangles very quickly and you guys this is the tip that i got from tamara renee shout out to my good sis i'm obsessed with her she puts gel on the braiding hair before um wrapping it into a bun to make sure that it does not tangle or attract any flyaways for just a, a, a clean job and like a very sleek look 
you know we are giving clean girl aesthetic honey that is the vibe over here we're trying to look clean we're trying to look all done up and still effortless so you know just follow the the, the road and she realized that she didn't do it right so she had to retie it you know she's a perfectionist like i am that's why we're friends <laughs> okay so yeah there she is tying it again and i'm sorry wrapping it or tying it yeah i would say tie into a knot bun and i think we finally got it i think we finally got it i don't like it to be too done up like the other girlies do it because then it ends up giving i think it looks good to be honest on relaxed hair because then everything is slick but you know i'm still natural as i said there's little kinks there it doesn't matter how how slick um it is and there i am going on and on missing all the steps <laughs> Here she applied mousse, as you guys saw, that's the Oris um, mousse, I love this brand, I have used their blow dry, when I used to blow dry my hair, not blow dry, sorry, what, what is it, the child, the chemical for blow, the blow, whatever, I don't know, it's, I don't know, I'm just kind of tired right now, my mind is all over the place, but she's using that, I love this brand, as I said, I've used their moisturizer, I've used the chemical, as I said, last year when I used to blow dry my hair, not blow dry my hair but you get me when i used to blow my hair out yeah when i used to have a blowout last year and she is now doing my edges with some gel as you guys saw the same gel we used in the beginning the soft and free and i just like my edges to always look simple and natural i don't like to do too much i'm not that that person i just really like things to be clean and simple i enjoy stuff when it's just simple and sleek and just classy and very modest and light you know that's that's just my vibe right now i don't know i'm in that era <laughs> and here we are just making sure that we dry everything and here i am to give you an update so listen up okay so update i wrapped my hair and i put it in my bonnet and I'm about to take it off and I'll be back to show you guys the end result but you know what, the longer you wrap, the better you know, just wrap it and put it under a bonnet and you'll be good but I have to go in literally like 5 minutes so I'm just gonna take it off and show you guys quickly and put on my earrings and go the big reveal Ooh, I don't wanna mess it up Okay, it definitely still needs to dry, but I hope it's, yeah, you can tell from the, okay, but this is the final product, let me just turn to show you guys, it definitely still needs to dry, but I have to go. All I'm so happy with it. My girl did that as always. She always gets me together. Okay. My sis always gets me together. I'm so happy with it. I do feel like it's still wet on my scalp. Like I, you know, I can tell that it's still wet and I even saw on the Duke. But I feel like it's going to be fine in like an hour or two. So this is a tip. The longer you wrap, the better. And yeah. Thank you for watching and making it to the end of the video. Let me know if you want more of like these tutorials because I am into like productive hairstyling and like just playing around with my hair. Even though I am still natural, I would love to play around more. And I think that would be more fun if I was relaxed. But you know, the time will come. Mwah. Thank you. Mwah. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And yeah, bye. Guys, honestly, like jokes aside, my parents have to be very proud of themselves, especially my mom. The fact that she had all of this, all of this, honey, in her womb. Excuse me? Make it make sense. Like, who are you and how did you do it?